on your feet. Welcome to St. Lawrence University. You're about to join me and the Singing Saints on a tour of the oldest coeducational university in the state of New York. Let's take a look. St. Lawrence University is located in the small town of Canton, New York. Within 10 miles are three other colleges. Plus, the university is close in proximity to the Adirondacks and Canada. The university is 90 minutes from the embassies of virtually every nation in the world, located in Canada's capital, Ottawa. And it's only two hours away from the world's second largest French-speaking city, Montreal. Caffeine and concerts? Probably two of my favorite things. The Java Barn has both. This on-campus music venue is run by a dedicated group of SLU students. It plays host to live bands every weekend and is well known on the East Coast touring circuit. At 1,000 acres, this is considered a walking campus. You can walk, jog, or mountain bike throughout the various trails or walk to town, which is really close. We do have a lot of students who are attracted to our location, uh, being so close to the Adirondack Mountains. Uh, we tend to attract students who have strong interest in issues of sustainability or enjoy the outdoors. You've never experienced a first year program like this before. Over the past 22 years, it has evolved to help students make a successful transition from high school to college, both academically and socially. It is so effective that other colleges use it as a model. SLU enrolls 2,300 undergraduates and an additional 100 graduate students, coming from 41 states and 45 nations. The gender makeup is nearly equal, with the edge to the women at 54%. Over 10% of all students are of color. I think St. Lawrence has it's like a, an opportunity to be a big fish in a small pond, so there, there are more opportunities to take a, a role of leadership at a, at a place like St. Lawrence. St. Lawrence is SAT, ACT test optional. However, over half of entering freshmen submitted their test scores. An impressive 95% were in the top half of their high school class, and about 39% are actually admitted. The cost for a full year of tuition is just over $44,000. Room and board with a full flex meal plan adds another $11,500. Student fees are about $300, bringing your total cost to roughly $56,000 per year. Some people might think that living in Canton, New York might be isolated and it's up in the middle of nowhere. It couldn't be farther from the truth. This is an inclusive campus, all-inclusive campus. No need to hit the city for fine art. The collection here on campus is pretty impressive. There are over 7,000 pieces, some by artists such as Andy Warhol, Pablo Picasso, and Marc Chagall. St. Lawrence University has over 70 majors and minors to offer. Economics and psychology are the two most popular majors, while education and sports studies and exercise science are the most common minors. I studied abroad to Denmark during um, the summer before my junior year and I got to go for a month and I took a class on children with special needs and I got to complete an internship while I was there and also live in an apartment in Copenhagen. I love my professors on campus. I've gotten really close with both the professors in the psychology and the math department and I think that you know you, have, you go to class with them but they really want you to come in you know even if you don't have a question to ask them but to just talk to them um, about your life, what's going on um, and I know I've taken classes with multiple um, with the same professor multiple times, um, and I think that's really nice because I've really gotten to get close with them. 32 varsity sports? You better go out and support at least one of your teams. A majority of them compete in D3 in the Liberty League Conference, but the hockey team is Division I. Check out the less traditional sports like squash, equestrian, or alpine and Nordic skiing. I have lived on campus um, all three years that I've been here. Um, I lived in the regular dorms in Sykes my sophomore year, and the past two years I lived in my sorority house, which is actually a theme house on campus. Like, there's a whole bunch of theme houses which jump different ideology, but Commons is interesting because it doesn't really have a certain ideology. The housing options are quite, in quite beautiful. It's, it's awesome. You met my friends at the beginning of the tour. This school has a serious history of singing. A cappella groups started in the 50s with the Singing Saints, an all-male group. Then came the women's group, the Sinners. Today the groups remain intact and are student-directed ensembles that arrange their own music. They spread their love of song all around the campus with impromptu dorm serenades. The outing club sounds pretty ordinary, right? It's anything but. If you're into the extremes, then these are the people you want to hang with. The group annually sends students to climb all 46 high peaks over 4,000 feet of the Adirondacks simultaneously during their peak weekend. There are over 130 student clubs and organizations on campus. If that doesn't pique your interest, check out the Newell Fieldhouse, which is home to a fitness center, a pool, tennis courts, and this lovely climbing wall. 
St. Lawrence is really proud of their alumni. Kirk Douglas was a wrestler and student government leader during his time on campus. Plus, Viggo Mortensen of the Lord of the Rings fame and tons of NHL players and coaches all got their start at SLU. Olympia Brown is the first woman graduate of the theology school. Later on, she became the first woman in the U.S. to be ordained. We work to bring alumni back to campus um, and speak to students and offer and build our Saints Network, which is an amazing network of 3,200 alumni that um, post job opportunities and internship opportunities only to St. Lawrence students. Did this tour pique your interest? You'll get an incredible first year experience here and three amazing years to follow. It would be sinful not to take another look at St. Lawrence University. Jay Kimball Gannon wrote the holiday classic I'll Be Home for Christmas. The 1924 grad also composed the university's alma mater. So there's no better way to end the tour with that. For University TV, I'm Shana Jean. Take it away, boys. Oh, St. Lawrence, we are singing now.